We're here in the village of Nusaope, sitting on a small island, one of the many islands that makes up the village. And this is called Nusa Guhe, and I'm talking to Yula, one of the elders of the island of, and of the village of Nusaope, who lives in this island. And in the, in the last decade, r raising sea levels have actually covered this island many times. So I'm going to ask her now to tell us a little bit what has happened in this island and I will speak Rovian and then I'll translate into English, uh, to get the first account of the reality of climate change in Pacific Islands. We debate, we talk about whether climate change is real, you know, different voices against it, different voices for it, but the reality is that climate change and the effects of climate change are already affecting people here in the Pacific. <laughs> So I am asking Yula, what has happened in this island over the last uh, years? Me parece espontalaisa o do do o arini sapu kamo pa no pa no sae. Kanga wai ne sa. So what she's saying that uh, about starting somewhere in the 2000s and they were trying to get the year 2010 to 2000, 2015 the, the king tides or the high tides have actually increasingly creeped on the island more and more and more, basically pushing animals. There were chickens here, they cannot stay here anymore. Um, basically everything that was here, a lot of the little trees have died. And also some of the people that lived in, in the island had to abandon the island. So with these high tides, basically this whole island, basically until it, about here, is covered with water. So the residents of the house that's behind me uh, abandoned the house because these creeping tides and high waters have increased in, in, in frequency and have made basically life in the island unsustainable. Uh, also rotting the, the poles that sustain the house, cements the, the, the foundations, and having an effect on the, on, the, on the people on the island. So most of the people who live in this island, which by the way it's a very small island but had a couple of families living in them, have now moved uh, elsewhere. Make a la Sierini. Pararo. Pararo. So the people who moved here moved to a bigger island called Raro Island, which is in front of this island, which also is being inundated and facing the same problems. But the island is larger and a little bit higher, so they, they have a several decades before actually uh, sea level rise, continuing sea level rise, if it continues rising at this rate, actually creeps in, in so far inside the island that kills all the veg vegetation and actually forces people to relocate out. Mm. Lopi Barizu, 
kalau kota Palembang semua sama sepuluh di itu. Bapak ibu sendiri sudah bawa kota Lagu. Ibu lawat pak bu dengan sepuluh orang kala lawat lah. Sepan orang patung tunggir ini. Oh, you lah saying that you know she's lived here. Where should I see a good school then? So nai? Di sini lah. Tentu so itu kan musko panu saya. Kau kota taman gus ni kota. Di sini kau taman kota. So her parents lived in this island, and she grew up in this island, and so there's a, a big, strong attachment to place. Um, so while some of her family members have moved out of the island, she refuses to leave the island, even though water is creeping all over the lower floor of her house, uh, and she's just waiting to see what happens and how bad it will get. But because of her spiritual and the customary ownership of the island, she is unwilling to move yet. But she was saying that if these high tides continue coming in, she will have to move to what we call Buragarena, which is the barrier islands that form the Roviana Lagoon, which have some little hills and higher ground. And she would be actually building her house in something we call Ro in Roviana Hahangiri, which are raised limestone islands, which are several meters high. And she would build her house on top of one of these. And of course, you know, it's not going to happen in the next 10, 15 years that we're going to have three meters of sea level rise, but the water keeps rising and people have to move. Uh, so this is the reality here in the Pacific now. It's not just an issue of when will it happen, it is happening now.